Hi everybody, this is the class number 11 and now we're gonna use uh, the previously code that we made in the previously class. So if you didn't see the code or the coding or the explanation about the coding in the, in the previously class, it will appear occur in, uh, in somewhere here in this video. And also I will need the code from the class number nine. And it will appear as another card from uh, two card to class number nine. So why these uh, two classes are very important? Because we're gonna use to finally build the container ship class. So I will show how we can use both codes in to build the container ship class. So uh, also it's important to, to say that in the description of this video, it will be available a link and if you click in the link, you can uh, see the co code and copy the code to your Google notebook, your Google Collab notebook. So let's go start talking and start doing some code. So let's see what we're going to do here. I already have uh, the uh, notebooks from previously class. And I will not explain this in detail since I detailed this in the previously videos. So first I'm gonna select all code here and copy here. Okay, this is the container ship class. But this container ship class does not have it's it's perfectly working. Let's check this. So if I click on this play button, I will see what happens if the class it's okay. Here we have some code here to test the container ship class uh code yeah it's okay it's working perfectly okay and uh, since we are logged in google collab and this is the notebook in google collab it's a kind of google docs where it you can put some python code okay so now i will get the code from uh class number nine and in class number nine we uh created uh, a function or a, a set of functions that enable us to draw a picture the, to draw the uh, container ship picture so what's important now i will use as a base of this using this code okay and i will now i at this moment i will uh, create a new function so it's important to say that uh, to build a graph we need some uh, libraries let's check if we, we have a, every library that is important okay numpy we need numpy we have numpy here plotly subplots okay so it seems that everything that we are gonna need to do this project okay so it's missing another uh, important thing here we need a uh, import uh, plotly plotly dot graph objects underscore objects as go short name go okay so now we're gonna use uh, we are gonna create a new uh, method for this class it's a uh, a new function and i will uh, give the name of this function to draw because this function is uh, enable us to draw a picture for the container ship arrangement so what's important here container ship class has two uh, fields first the ship it's uh, this ship it's a kind of uh, cargo map so we have the field a uh, self dot cargo map and also you have the self dot color map these are the two uh, fields for the container ship class and the first one the cargo map we're gonna be a numpy vector of matrix you see the we have here as we see here uh, we have three uh, indexes for e uh, each uh, dimension of the container ship so the first one is the bay the number of lines and the number of the columns okay in this water and finally for the uh, color map we have a, a kind of dictionary here we have the integer numbers 
and here we have uh, here we have the the values and the are the keys of the and the keys of this dictionary are integer numbers okay so the values are a kind of string uh, a list of strings with with num uh, names of colors in terms of rgb and uh, we're going to use this as a dictionary for the uh, color map so uh, what we can do for draw we're going to use the, these two information these two uh, fields and for but after uh, we're going to use this we're going to need a kind of variable that uh, is important to draw the 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 scales okay so we're gonna need do these two variables and also we're gonna need uh, a kind of for a loop but we will repeat this loop for each container ship dimension so i have the dimension of number of base so this is the first loop because we're gonna uh, uh, see the cargo in each bay and plot the cargo in each bay and also we have the another loop for the uh, rows so this is the second loop inside the first loop and we're gonna search or draw the cargo remember that each cargo or each cell of the container ship is represented by a rectangle so we need to draw this rectangle and that's why we should pass to each cell to each grid of uh, to each cell of the grid for the container ship and finally we're gonna need some if here because we're gonna update the max net maximum number of lines or rows and uh this is an important uh, variable that will be a more will be more easy to understand in the next steps okay so at this moment it's difficult to understand uh why i need this uh, max lean variable but in a few moments it will be more clear so finally the third uh, loop is the loop for each column and finally i have self cargo map i'm going to specify two index here okay so i finish it and inside this third loop i have an update of variable max go and max go maximum number of columns will be this okay so it's an update of this variable that started zero and uh, what's important now really important it's important that i can draw a figure here so i can uh, create two auxiliary uh, functions two auxiliary methods and draw like this it will be a more very very uh, more clear code i can choose this okay so i can just copy the code from uh, class number nine using this two uh, i created these two functions but it's also important to see if you do this if you do the in this way you're gonna need self another parameter here for this function because the object that we will call this is the same object that will be used to draw and if you are using draw method uh, you you need to understand that uh, a certain object is calling this function so what is the this object the same one the same object that called the draw so if this parameter self here gonna be used to uh, to call how i can call uh, these two new, new methods create rect and create create legend so it's not the same way I created here because I'm inside a, a class. So here I created it like that. It's okay. But now, since these two functions are called from inside uh, uh, a method, 
I will should use this self self observe that with this parameter self it's the object that's calling this method okay so I pass self and this self gonna be the first parameter uh, that I use it on that I should use in calling create rect and create legend so this is a very uh, compact way to solve the problem but I'm still uh, I still should uh, observe that's not enough because I have another important thing uh, in container ship class that is the field figure why I need this because I you, you for each container ship I should have one figure that where they uh, draw the the image of a container ship will be stored okay so I need this field so we have three three fields we have the cargo map uh, field we have the color map field and we have the fig field so this uh, result should be stored in self self fig and self dot fig because this figure has the scope of the class so this will be stored in the fig field of the of a specific object finally uh, i should set the uh, the axis so when i finish it to plot or to add figures uh, to, to, to my to my container ship I should uh, create I should create some axis a properly axis okay so uh, let's see if there is something wrong here okay so here it's important to say that we have to add this figure so let's observe the return here okay we have a figure it's not okay here because we are adding to figure okay so okay so here we have to self self dot fig self dot fig now it's okay with the code because we are sending the uh, self fig to add self fig okay so now it's okay because we are sending a uh, figure this reference and this will be added to the the field correctly here okay so uh finally i should update the 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 axis to correctly show the new figure with all rectangles draw so i will do this axis range okay so the range will be a parameter and i should specify the minimum and the maximum so here i'm using this uh, mysterious variable max max go okay to set the axis correctly and also i will need a show grid so if i'm trying to use a show grid i should use this parameter with this the value true show grid equal to true and finally i also should set the another axis here using a range but now the range will be max go value plus two uh, let's check if i'm missing something no okay and finally i should update self fig dot update shapes dic dictionary and uh, i don't know if i i really need this okay okay that, let's try it let's try okay and finally i have okay i what's important here is this this next one 
so I should update the figure and uh, layout layout show show legend equal to false so I will not show this kind of of legend here that's not very interesting it's not very good for uh, visual visualization it's not good so uh, okay now we have perfectly all things here and we don't we're not okay we saw the the container ship structure or how the cargo are allocated inside container ship without using a, a draw function so now here we're gonna change the code to use this new function let's see if it works properly and uh, let's try it okay there are some errors okay i forgot two dots here here so four 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 everything okay seems to be okay now okay another error uh, map color is not defined uh yeah it's okay it's not defined because we didn't uh set it okay so this function i copied from the nine, uh, class nine, number nine so i need to uh color map so the color map is just the field that i created here so set color map set color map is here so i have self color map this is this is the number of the the field that i should use here because i need this information to properly draw the rectangle okay another error uh, show legend false okay oh dot dot update not underscore here i saw it okay so now it's drawing okay work it perfectly and beautifully so now you have we have completed finally completed the car, uh, container ship class but there is an error i i will show you this imagine that now you are trying to draw for the second time the same container ship let's see what's happened so i i first draw the container ship and next draw here so what is the problem there is some problem let's see it yeah he draw two times so it's not a very good uh behavior how how i can uh, avoid this kind of behavior because uh i draw for the first time he made the the image perfectly and when i call it again the draw he draw again in the same space so i need to a kind of uh let's try to empty the the space the figure space so to do this i need to do the following self dot remember that in the description of this video will be this code okay available so i when i'm doing this let's see what happens now so it draws two times but it it will not appear two times okay it will appear to the uh two times but remember this uh you can do some uh for example cs1 you can do some uh code here let's print this cargo map print so let's see if it you appears a text separating these two figures that's important okay so what's happened here it's the the so there is something uh separating and more important we are not drawing uh, the same uh data two times why this uh, emptying data is important because uh, every time we call this figure we are just adding more rectangles to draw uh, the container ship to the image of the container ship so a manner to avoid uh, uh, image be bigger or everything every time we call the the method draw uh, we add some data the manner to avoid some problem imagine that we're calling two times three times so uh we are adding 
more figures to the same uh, image it's not okay so to avoid this kind of behavior you need to do this kind of empty empty the data of the figure and this uh, is just we are drawing just the actual state of the container ship in terms of cargo and see that we draw every rectangle every position here with a correct number and we can now have we have the co complete control of drawing the container ship what is expected what we need so uh, i hope you find this class interesting and helpful and and in the next classes we will talk about how we can define the unloading and loading rules how we can define them and they will be very important to uh, create the uh, container ship simulator to build the container ship simulator we need to define con the container ship class we already defined and define the loading and unloading rules and finally we can set all things uh, together to build the port uh, the container ship simulator okay so i hope you hope you find you in the next video and see you bye